call to order the July 24th meeting of the Committee on Finance. And a call the roll. Sure. Um, Councilor LaBarge, President, Councilor Shara here, Councilor Murphy here, and Councilor Carney. And we know she was unavailable, so we're good. And uh, though public comment isn't on here, we don't have anybody from the public in the room, so there's no reason to comment. Um, and do we have minutes from the, I think we, no. we're up to date on all our minutes, right? Yeah, well, except for the ones that from discovered Tom Scanlon. Oh, from that one way back, and that's in the process. So um, why we, we call this off meeting uh, was we noticed the time frame for hiring the 19 audit is September 15th. And are you familiar with that, Mr. LaBarge? That the charter, the charter says that by the 15th of September, we need to hire somebody to do the audit for 19, but 19 only just started at the beginning of this month. So 18, the fiscal year that ended, is part of that three-year deal we had with Scanlon that we did a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. So the 18 one is already is going to start soon. I think they'll be coming here next month to start on that. But the charter wants us to hire for 19, and 19's not going to be over until the end of June next year. So it's kind of it kind of escaped everybody that it was so front-loaded. And when we, my thought would be when we diddle with the charter, we might want to put the deadline to hire like in the spring sometime uh, because uh, of the crunch. Because now, if we were going to go out to bid to find new people, we would have to do an RFP, send it out, give them two weeks to deal with it and send it back to us. Then look at the RFP, interview people, and come up with a decision that got voted on twice by council. And there are only two council meetings and the next one's coming up in like two weeks. So there really is no way to do the full process. And uh, Mr. Scanlon has told us that he would do a one year extension of his current contract for the same price for the $49,000 he's doing this year, 18 for. And that would, we could uh, make that recommendation to council, have our two readings, and make the deadline, and then commit, remember to commence the next year's 2020 in the spring so we could do an RFP because it, it does make sense at some point probably to change auditor just to get new eyes on things but we wouldn't have time. And my other concern is if we tried to rush it the only really accurate bid we would probably get is from Scanlon because Scanlon is up to speed with the city. Somebody who's bidding the city would have to look at the past audits to determine how much work it was. So even if we tried to do the full process, we would we'd be almost ensuring that Scanlon would have the sharpest pencil because they already know what we're doing. So we put everybody else at a disadvantage in addition to having no time to actually do the work. So if we if we continue with Scanlon for that one more year at the same price, and then in the spring, before we start the budget the process and give everybody an RFP and give them time to reply and look at the audits then we'll have till September to make up our mind but at least we give the other auditors a fair amount of time because as, as everybody noted too these auditors are all going into cities and towns right now to start their audits for 18 so they don't have a lot of time at the moment to to bid on something even so uh, any comment That's yes um, I talked to finance director Susan in regards to um, everything that you were talking about and I for not see a problem with scalings being extended for one more year um, I've been told that because of their history they are just fantastic with the city Susan said they can call them they call back immediately if they need them to be here they're here so I would not see a problem that we extend it for one more year at the same price. No, I think they do a good job. I think the concern overall is that we just don't blindly keep renewing them, that we actually at some point do a process. Um, and we did. I mean, was it two or now three years ago that we actually we went through this process? Three. Yeah. Okay. Right. This, this is the third year of that right. deal. Yeah. Which, and we went through a fairly extensive process. We interviewed or three other companies. We got four responses. Right. Yeah, four we, we, we sent out like 10 12. or 12, and right. we got four, and we interviewed them all, yeah. and we picked Scanlon, and as I said, the 
the only real reason to do this, in my opinion, is that we couldn't do a fair process at this point. And they do do a good job. You know, everybody likes them. They're confident. It's, I don't think we're going to do any injury to the city, though. I think we probably want to remember in the spring to go the whole process again, just for due diligence purposes. You know, we could even end up with them again, but I think it's good to to rattle the cage and see if there's better deals. Just you know, on behalf of the you know the taxpayers. But at the moment, if they'll hold that price, I think it's a, not a reasonable. Do you have any other? Yeah, no. I'm kind of monopolizing the conversation here. But I think that this. Yeah, that's a very in Light thing. of the schedule, we're looking at this makes sense. And and uh, roll them into to 19. Any other any other discussion or anything else, Council of Orange, or you seem to be comfortable? No? Good. I guess. Mm -hmm. Then a motion to. Uh, I guess the motion would be to recommend to the full council that we extend for one more year Scanlon to be this do the audit for 19. Is that? Okay. I did that motion. Motion second. Any discussion on that? Second. Yep. Any other discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Excellent. Um, any new business anyone has or? No. No. Very good. Then a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Thank you. Aye. Thank you for coming in on short notice and yes and then we can uh, the recommendation can come up as city council. in council so that it could be should be August there'll have to be an order on the city council agenda to authorize extending the contract mm -hmm. so I guess it's already it actually would have to approve that order on the finance committee before yeah the council but it's our recommendation so it could come up at the council meeting to again and more in here for that probably so we could for August. Yeah, we could, and then vote on it first reading in August and the second reading in September, first meeting, and then we'd be done for the 15th, so we'd live up to the charter requirement. Good. Not unless they wanted two readings, who knows? Yeah, but we've got time to do one, yeah. in, one in August and one in the first meeting in September. We can do two readings and be on our normal schedule and not ruffle any feathers. Good. All right. Well, thank you all for.